Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. It's time for some more of MLB The Show 16 with Ajax Booker. Nationals versus Brewers in this one as we hope to continue on with the tremendous performance we've seen from Ajax Booker after coming into the major leagues. In a lot of years past, like Lou Gehrig, for example, uh, I'd start off really, really well and then I'd go into a pretty nasty cold streak with my batting average getting down into like the 180s or even lower, but sitting at 339 right now is not that bad. I've got a few home runs and a decent number of stolen bases right now, and I hope to be able to get that up just a little bit higher too. Even with the uh, games that I've played so far in the majors, I am still number two in Rookie of the Year voting, which for me, pretty excited about that. Uh, I don't think I've gotten Rookie of the Year because uh, in years past, it took me quite a while to be able to get up to the majors, but that really hasn't been the case with Ajax Booker, and that's that's been awesome. Uh, getting up here this quickly, I mean, we're still looking at pre-All-Star game at this point. Gives me a lot to be able to do this season to not only get Rookie of the Year, but maybe some other awards as well. So I kind of wanted to show you just a little bit of what I have to deal with at every single at-bat now. Uh, the computer definitely knows I'm going to be trying to steal at every single attempt and I've got two free bases in front of me so there's attempt number two let's see if he goes for a third here yep not uncommon we see a lot of pitch outs uh, quick deliveries things like that what I've ended up doing the strategy oh by the way I fly ball into right center I'll end up going back because there's nothing that I can do at this point um, but what I've been having to do is to take no additional steps away from the bag and, you know, just kind of booking it every single time. So uh, if they go with the quick delivery, I'll immediately come back or a pitch out, I'll immediately come back because uh, the only way that I can get a stolen base is if they go with their traditional much longer delivery. So uh, just going back every single time has is, is really been key for me, but I've gotten a number of stolen bases that way. And you'll probably see that in uh, some episodes to come, since that's really all I'm going to be able to do to get those stolen bases. I, and I mentioned this plenty of times before, like for me, the pinnacle of Ajax Booker is going to be breaking uh, the stolen base record you know, in a single season. That's something... You know, Ricky Henderson's record, I think it's 130 stolen bases. That's something that I think that I can beat. I mean, there's some games where I end up getting like two, three. I think there's even one where I've gotten four stolen bases in a single game, which, you know, that'll definitely add up. I just got to make sure I stay healthy and I keep working on getting the attributes up. Uh, right now, my speed is as high as it can go when you consider some of the equipment that I'm wearing. You know, I, I want to say it's like 90 right now, but... I'm looking at plus 15 with the equipment that I'm wearing. Uh, getting the stolen bases uh, attribute up is going to be something that I'll do as well. I think that helps with acceleration. All I know is that it describes itself as helping you be able to steal bases. That That's really it. But I do think it's tied to acceleration, which, which will be important here. Anyway, Nationals are down one to nothing. Hoping to be able to get a run here. You know, because we've got uh, Revere over there at first, and he's pretty speedy. So if I can get a decent hit into the gap, he could go first to home with little problem at all. Well, now I've got that first strike out of the way. I've got the green light to start swinging at things. Kind of been getting away from that a little bit, too, since a lot of pitchers are just going right for the strike zone on pitch number one. Um, I don't know. It has its pros and cons. I don't like starting off with one strike, but at the same time, I like being able to see, you know, what's going to happen. High fly ball into right center. Ah, it bounces off the wall. Oh, he's taking a lot of time to pick that one up. I'm going to go ahead and round third and head home. And, ah, dang it. Well, I mean, I guess it was worth a shot. You know, I had that inside the park home run for home run number one for Ajax Booker. And I want to be able to get another one here. So that was just hit perfectly against the wall took him some time and uh, in a lot of cases if they have to rush a throw home 
the throw's going to be off. Uh, maybe a bounce or something like that. I, I think it was worth a shot to be able to go ahead and, and try and get home, especially since that would have been the go-ahead run for us. But we are up now 4-2. to two. We've got runners on first and second now with two out, so I'll be swinging away. In a lot of cases, when we've got a runner on first, you know, and, and we've got one or no outs, I'll try and lay down the bunt because I don't want to hit into a double play. And see what I mean? Like, those are some of the pitches I'm starting to see more and more on that first pitch. So I've got to potentially rethink my strategy and see what I you know, should do. What's going to be best for Ajax? What's going to be best for the team? I don't know. Maybe I'll mix it up every now and then. But I'm going to be going with the Showtime feature here because this is going to be important for us to, to get some additional runs. And so I want to be able to get a good hit on the ball here. Just kind of watching it. This should be pretty good. High fly ball. This one's going deep in the center. It'll be caught. Man. Well, maybe if I had aimed just a little higher, I probably would have driven it farther since it wouldn't have had as high of an arc. Probably would have gotten a home run off of that, but you know what? That's okay. I've still got a few for this season so far, and considering that power has not been a, a real focus of mine with Ajax, you know, I'm okay. And I haven't gotten too many home runs. Dang, the Brewers have come back. 8-4 to four now here in the top of the ninth. Again, I find myself in a situation with two runners on base. Maybe now is when I should have used the showtime instead. All right, so with a lot of relievers, you're going to find that on the first pitch, it's going to be a strike. So I drive this one out into the corner and right. It stays fair. And I got one run to come home, but Revere is going to end up being out, and that's going to go ahead and end the game. So two instances in this game where we tried to get that extra run. Unfortunately, we were out at the plate, but that's okay. Stuff like this happens. We're not going to go ahead and win them all. So thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of Ajax Booker to come later on, so make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. You guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thank you again for watching. As always, you guys, I hope you have a good one.